some people will learn faster than others, but it does not mean that others cannot learn. So to me, all competencies and skills can be harnessed through studying and through experience. I do researches in food safety, particularly in microbiological food safety. My studies are disease-causing microorganisms. I study processes with which uh, we can inactivate these microorganisms to prevent foodborne illnesses. I also do community extension works. I collaborate with academic institutions and national and local government units to teach food safety and food hygiene knowledge on different sectors such as food vendors and uh, ordinary citizens. As scientists, uh, to me, it's very important that we know our craft well, our, our fields of study. So there are competencies that you develop in the laboratory. Let's say, for example, uh, basic methodologies, basic um, tools for you to work on your experiments. But to me, so there are skills and competencies that are more important. It's very important that we know how to question. It's, as, it's more important uh, than knowing how to answer questions. To me, it's more important to identify a researchable question. We can't just answer any question. We have to answer questions that are relevant to our society. Mainly, I define skills and competencies uh, as something that you can do and you can do it or execute it perfectly. My motivation number one is I really wanted to you know, help the country you know, have better engineers. When I graduated college, we noticed that a lot of students you know, graduate from their universities without you know, really actually having any practical knowledge in the field of you know, engineering and so on. So you know, we started out uh, a company called you know, Think Lab uh, that was way, way back in 2007 to address you know, this issue. At the same time, we also wanted to help our fellow engineers, fellow students, you know, to be more capable engineers. So Spark Lab started about a year ago. It was actually the grand vision of Think Lab, having a makerspace, some sort of a gym for nerds. You have an idea, you just go here, do your idea, execute it. You know, we can help you with prototyping. If you want more help, we can also help you, you know, market your your product. The basic idea here is you know to empower the Filipino engineers and the makers to create and to realize their dreams. Free thinking, openness to other possibilities or to other solutions. When you let engineers do their thing, okay, and let them be, you can really create some seriously unique and seriously good pieces of machinery. It's fun being a, an engineer. It's really fun. Because you have the power to create. Math wasn't the first love. It was an acquired taste for me. I wasn't a savant. I wasn't very rapid in adding and multiplying. I wasn't like these other kids. I was fortunate enough to have teachers who noticed that I would never be the fastest. I tended to be the one who answered the most difficult questions.
Uh, I am a, a theoretical physicist. Uh, I specialize particularly in gravitational physics, which subsumes basically objects that are very dense and very, very heavy. So my primary skill I'm trying to learn now in my new role as a, as a scientist is really mentorship. A very important skill that everybody sh should try to develop is the ability to express oneself. More than that, it's the ability to think carefully and clearly. Analytical thinking, especially in uh, today's world, is, is really very important to be able to dissect a claim into its parts, understand the relationship between these parts, and assess the correctness, the veracity of this claim overall. Uh, these are very important, you know. It's very valuable to be able, to, the skill to be able to parse things and see uh, truth in all the complexity is, is something that I would think is essential. This is the information age. The world is, a, is much bigger than our profession. I'm less interested in making a million dollars as opposed to impacting my first million Filipinos. And there are 112 million Filipinos today, so that's my ambition. The culture of experimentation, the love of country, it's become part of who I am. So I started Hybridime Consulting. In 13 years, we've trained over 17,000 aspiring entrepreneurs. We've created 3,500 jobs in the poorest part of our countries. And we've helped one bill become law, which is the Technology Transfer Act of 2009. And with all the awards, what matters more to me is to create abundance and to create value for Filipinos. Enable Filipinos to change their world. That's what I do every day. I think it's really important for you to love your work and take it very seriously. Love is a skill. You have to consistently decide every day to love. Keep the scientific mindset and the culture of experimentation and your curiosity alive. And the third thing is, which is I think deeply important, is you must know what you stand for. You have to know yourself and decide to make a contribution to the country and to the world. And you can do it. You can do it. You don't have to be perfect. What you have to do is get stuff done. Done is better than perfect.